Hi everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. Hope everyone had a good week. I am back on schedule, um, recording on Sunday evening. Uh, it's kind of snowy out there today. Uh, I don't know if it's snowing right at this very moment, but um, it was snowing pretty good off and on this afternoon and this evening. Every time my Husky Cross went out, he was covered in snow. So <laughs> when he came back in, so it is uh, definitely a snowy evening tonight. I'm not looking f forward to the early drive to take him to the kennel in the morning. Uh, tomorrow is going to be another teacher strike day and we have the babysitter coming and so it's just easier for him to go to the kennel except it is a, a good 30 minute drive from my house. So I'm not really looking forward to that at like 6 in the morning but oh well. Uh, what did I do today? Um, I did get in my long run so I did 20 kilometers today. So pretty happy with that, but it does need to be faster. So um, a lot of work to do, but still have eight months to, to get my speed up. So, um, but I am glad I got the, the distance in, so that's good. And as far as the rest of the weekend goes, my son had dance class yesterday, which he doesn't particularly participate in. Um, but I'm hoping next week will be a little bit different because next week they're going to be doing some more jazz moves as opposed to doing uh, more ballet um, the last four weeks. So I think maybe the ballet was a little too strict for his liking. So we'll see. Um, thank you to all my subscribers. Your support is greatly appreciated. Um, and I did have a couple of people interested in the... Um, chart magazine, the Jill Oxton's cross stitch, um, book. And the winner is, uh, Virpir, V-I-R-P-I-R. Um, so if you could just, uh, send me, uh, your address, your mailing address, and I will get that out to you as soon as possible. I'm apologizing ahead of time. If it takes a little bit longer than, uh, than you expect as I get to the post office as much as I can get to the post office. It's not far from my house. It's just with a four-year-old, it can be a little difficult to get some other stuff um, moved in or scheduled in. So, um, yeah. So, congratulations. I'll put my email address in the drop box below for you to send me your mailing address. I also wanted to give a shout out to Carly Bean Crafty. She gave me a, a shout out on her latest video, mentioned the sal that we're gonna be co-hosting together, which is um, gonna be Clementine by Plum Seat Samplers. And we're gonna be starting that April 1st. Hashtag Clem Sal, C-L-E-M-S-A-L. And that's going to be in relation to a birthday sal for me. So, and uh, yeah, so she's co-hosting with that that with me. So thank you very much, Carla, for that again. Again, if you haven't had a chance, make sure you check out her floss tube as well, Carla being crafty. Whips. Actually, haul. Let's do a haul first. Not a lot, because again, trying to do stitch from stash. Um, but I did get. My next installment is Soul Snow Village in. So that was the um, auto ship program. And this one is frozen hot chocolate. So if I could just get, you know, the first one done, then maybe I can move on to all the other ones. Uh, so that's that. Um, and then I did purchase the chart that Priscilla and Chelsea put up on their new Etsy shop. So that's pretty cute. So I got that purchased and downloaded. So now I just need to get the floss and I will be all set. Again, the stitch from Stash is putting a little hamper on things, but that's what it's supposed to do, right? Um, so work in progress. Oh. Let's see here. So I did really well with the Enchanted Stitches um, challenges this week. 
I did a little bit on all four of the prompts. So the first one was to find something that had a sky, sky in it. So I stuck together here, worked on to the moon and back. I don't have a cover photo to show you, but I finished all the stitches in the moon there and then started some of the back stitching in the moon. Uh, so I just have a little bit on the cow to do, and then there's a bunch of words here that say, love you to the moon and back. So I think I got the worst, like the majority of the stitching done. The rest is, should be fairly quick. Hopefully. For that to be done. So that was that fun. Oh, my back is killing me, guys, from my run. Um, the next one is um, stitch on something they made a mistake in um, or that you're afraid to work on. So I brought out the otters again. Don't have anything to show you for a cover photo on that either. But as you know, this is where I've royally screwed up the stitching. Um, stitching count in the otter's head. Again, no one's going to know but me. So I worked on his feet. Um, so I just have a few more stitches to put in his feet. Some more water around his feet. And then a whole bunch of back stitching, especially in the face. There's a lot of back stitching in the face, which is going to be interesting since his head is not at all counted correctly. So um, that'll be interesting, but not a lot left to do on that one either. So, so that's good. Uh, the next one was stitch on the work in progress that you've not worked on for the longest amount of time. So I think that that probably the feline love, which is a dimension. I don't have a picture to show for this one either. Not very exciting. Um, but it is a dimensions kit. This is actually the second time I'm stitching this one. I've stitched this one before. And um, I'm also using it for one in magical stitches where you stitch on flowers. So I mainly focused on these flowers here. But then as I ran out of um, the color to stitch on here, if I had extra floss left, I like filled in some of the stuff at the top for the window so that was my progress there yeah sorry i don't have any cover photos to show you of any of those the next was um stitch on something that you fell in love with at first height site so we'll go with my hate on that one so endurance so when i saw the pattern on the hate website I knew that's the one I wanted to do. It took me a while to actually purchase it. But. And I'm so close to a page finish. Like a partial page finish. In that the chart for this page isn't a full page. But it will be the full page finish that's charted. So close. So close. I was hoping to kind of knock that out this week, that page finish, but it didn't happen. Because I didn't do any stitching at all today. I had a nap. And then I worked on cleaning the house because, again, the babysitter is coming tomorrow. Still need to clean the house a little bit more. Yeah. We went out for lunch. And, yeah. And I see my boss is commenting on a photo of mine on Facebook. So we'll see what he has to say. Because really he shouldn't. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's something that he thinks is, is funny. So uh, we'll have to leave it at that. And um, for magical stitches. So those were all four prompts for um, enchanted stitches. So I'm glad that I got something done for each of those. Magical Stitches, I only did two of the four prompts. Um, the one was Feline Love for 
um, something like a uh, stitch on something that has a flower and then one was stitch on something that has beads and I wasn't going to do anything for that one because I don't really have anything that has beads but I have one thing that has beads and it's an ornament from the Just Cross Stitch ornament magazine. So I thought, oh, well, why not pull that out? And it's the Moose Joy ornament. And I got his little antlers done and some of the, some more of the tree, a good chunk of the tree actually. So that's actually stitching up pretty quickly. Um, I really, I don't think I have any of the hazelnut for his face. Um, it might have been on back order and I still have to pick it up from Stitchy Central. Uh, I'm just not sure. Um, uh, but the beads, there's going to be beads in the tree for decorations. So that's where the beads come in for that one. So yeah, I wasn't going to pull out a Christmas one. So then uh, that being said, I do have a, two Prairie Schooler Santas on my February acrostics. So I guess we'll just leave that, um, project bag out. And, uh, and then st speaking of the February acrostics, I worked on my hade, so that will go towards that. So, um, that's, that's that. And I think that's all I have. This is a really short video. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to mention. Um, yeah, we're, we have two days of strikes this week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, so my husband's taking Tuesday off, so we're only having the babysitter one day, but yeah, it's getting a little tiring, these rotating strikes that the teachers are holding. Um, yeah, so people that, any of my viewers that are Ontario will probably understand what I'm saying, but yeah, it's, it's a little frustrating, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, yeah, I hope everyone has a good week. Um, congratulations again, Verpy, for um, winning my giveaway last week. And so make sure you send me a message uh, on that. And uh, yeah, have a good week, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.